Good morning. Just sort of giving a bit of an update on significant buildings. Um, firstly, Grand Chancellor. Uh, the contract has had that now for, for a little over two months and uh, they've largely completed um, pulling out the hard materials out of the building, taking the heavy material off the top. Uh, the propping of the first floor commenced this week and we uh, will then move to prop from level 14 to the top of the building. In addition to that, I'm hoping that by the middle of this month, people will actually be able to see some of the roof coming off and also start removing some of the pre-cad um, outside uh, material on the building, so the pre-classed cladding on that. The demolition of the car park is uh, well underway now, and um, so that's, that's that job. So Copthorne Durham, uh, the contractors had that for a month now. Um, there they're also completing the, the soft strip out of the building which they need to do in order that we can uh, keep the hard stuff that can go to Littleton and, it, and it's not full of rubbish and rubble that would uh, mean that we're not doing a good job on recycling and reusing. So I'm, there I'm hoping that this month also we'll see evidence of that. People will actually be able to see it through the cordon and see machinery actually starting to pull the outside of the building down. The Clarendon behind us. Um, we are still in ongoing discussions with the owner and insurer on that. It's fair to say those issues aren't resolved. Nevertheless, we are going to tender on that building next week. And um, the, the outcome of the, the future of the building we'll hopefully know within the next four to six weeks. Gallery Apartments, just over to, um, to your left. Signed the, the contract on that this morning. Um, that's taken some time because we needed to work with the City Council on them moving their art collection um, from under the shadow of the building and the other side of the building, so that's obviously very important with the valuable collection the City Council has in there. So for the next month or so, the contractor will just get the, clank, the crane installed on site, start removing some of the things from inside of the building to allow the City Council the final time to shift their collection, and then in about a month's time, people will actually see physically the building coming down. The old National Bank, that's a building in 164 Hereford Street, one we just came across about three weeks ago um, and we found it was significantly more damaged than, than we had thought it was. So tender's out for that and I'm hoping that certainly the job will be underway in a couple of weeks. Inside the red zone itself, next week there will be um, five buildings commencing, so Avonmore House, that's um, in Bedford Row. The Union Building on the corner of Cashel and Liverpool Streets. SPS House, that's on, um, on Manchester Street. AMY House on uh, Madras, I think that is. And Community House in 141 Hereford. So all those significant building jobs will start next week. Lastly, um, just a brief update on Cashel Moor. Um, we're expecting that the job of the demolition of the dangerous buildings will be finished uh, within about four weeks time, that will give sufficient time then for the uh, restart group to get their temporary buildings on site, uh, give us time to get our temporary road pulled up, get the street furniture reinvigorated, make sure the, um, all the, the footpathing and um, paving inside the arcade is good to go. So we're still on track for that and um, looking forward to opening on show week with that job.